All right, so I am day eight into the carnivore diet. Um, right now I'm about to make lunch for me and my wife. I'm about to make two ribeye steaks. Um, so far I've just been, have, I've had no, the most success with the ruminant animals. So I'm gonna try to stick to the beef, uh, bison, lamb, buffalo. Um, I've had the best success with that for myself so far. Um, so the steaks I will be cooking are, this one I had purchased from Food Lion, and this is the grass-fed beef ribeye, and that's what that one is. And then I purchased a different one from Walmart, and this one is also grass-fed, market side. I kind of prefer the Walmart ones better, the market side, over the Food Lion, but they're still good either way. Um, the only thing I'm going to use to season them with is some of the pink Himalayan salt, which is my favorite so far, um, and just some black pepper. So that's what we're going to season those things with. Oh, and I will also be using the Kerrygold butter. Um, I will be using the salted butter, and I'll probably just add about four tablespoons of that to the pan towards the end as I'm cooking them off. And um, let's get started. All right, so I already had the pan heated to about medium, medium high maybe. Um, and I'm just gonna slap these guys on there. I already got the salt and pepper on. Just gonna pop them in there. And I'll probably cook them for about, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes on each side, give or take. So the main reason, like I said, I'm day eight into this uh, carnivore journey. Um, my mother had started this diet about two weeks prior to me starting it. Um, and she was having a lot of medical issues, thyroid, um, high blood pressure, all kinds of stuff, joint pain, um, insomnia, uh, just mood, depression. And a lot of those things I was kind of going through myself for me, it was more of the mental health aspect of it. it was declining very quickly um, due to work and just and it was affecting my home life. So it was getting to the point where I, I felt like I had to go probably seek out a doctor to get medication. Um, and I was just fogged, couldn't think straight. Um, and I, I've seen how much this impacted my, mo my mom. And uh, I figured, well, if I can change my diet and fix some of these issues without going to the doctor and getting pumped up full of medication, I'm all for it. Um, I used to work out quite frequently before this, but my diet obviously was consisted of mostly carbs. Um, not many vegetables, so the transition as far as the vegetables go hasn't been too rough. Um, the transition overall hasn't been rough. Once you get into it, like third or fourth day, you're pretty much set. The smell of a ribeye will smell like dessert. Um, but yeah, so that was the main reason I took on this journey is because I wanted to fix my mental health. I wanted to fix some of the, the physical issues I was feeling. At 34 years old, I shouldn't be feeling them. Um, and so far, it's, it's crazy how much of a difference. Just changing your diet will completely flip your world around. Um, I've had my wife was the most impressed just by my aura just everything changed like the cloud had been lifted off um co-workers had noticed a huge change um to the point where they're curious about it um and when i start talking about the carnivore diet obviously they're like, well, that doesn't make sense you need fiber um but then they see the the transformation it's undeniable and especially when you start doing research on youtube and start looking at other people's journeys and seeing how much of a transformation they have made by just switching a diet and um, there's other things that go along with it too like your skin your skin clears out no no acne um, I've heard that you burn less easily out in the sun um, just so many benefits to it so many and I've, I've followed um, the steak and butter gang she has really good information um, 
there's other followers that I've been watching that have helped people like me who really don't understand the science behind it um, kind of break it down and make sense. So, you know, you can't you can't deny the physical and mental improvements that just changing a diet can can bring um, to the point where even people around you were that might be something I can try. Um, so yeah, the, the, all the inspiration that I've seen just on YouTube made me want to start a, a little vlog, which is the first time I've ever done this. So if I get a little weird, I apologize. And that's another thing, too, to this journey. Um, I've never vlogged. I've never videotaped myself doing anything outside of playing guitar. So it's, it's new for me, and then, uh, I'm pretty sure there's many people out there that may want to do the same thing. Um, there's idiots like me out here trying this, too. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. Now, getting towards the end here is when I like to put the butter in. Um, just to give it that kind of the, the end, get that caramelization going, can't beat it. Like I said, I opted for the Kerrygold butter. In my opinion, that's the best I've salt and unsalted. Um, and I'll toss about For this, I'll do about four tablespoons, so that's two tablespoons of butter for each steak. Not too, too much. Um, I'm only day eight in, so I haven't gotten to the point where I'm eating butter off the stick yet. Um, so we're, we're slowly working there, but this is kind of my starting point with the steak has been wonderful, and eggs have been a saving grace. Every morning so far, I'll make about eight to 10 eggs scrambled. Some ch sharp cheddar cheese grated on it. Salt, pepper, can't go wrong. Usually when I add the butter in, I'll have to turn up the heat just a little bit. Get that browning going. And I have been keeping track of the steaks. This one back here is the Food Lion steak. This one right here is the Walmart market size steak. I'd say they're ready to go. And then something I like to do towards the end, which I know a lot of other folks do as well, pour all that delicious grease and butter top of your steak. All the flavor. And there we have it. That's lunch.